Hello, my friends. You thought I didn't have another book for you. Trust me. I've got plenty, but who cares? No big deal. It's like, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've got another book for you guys. And um, some of you have learned that I have a favorite author. Some of you may not know this, but um, right before the next book, I think I'll be able to find the picture. Um, I met the author, Patricia Polacco. She's actually the author and illustrator of her books. She's phenomenal, by the way. If you have not had a chance to read any of her books, like she's an amazing author. So um, tonight, today, I'm going to read you guys the book Thundercake by Patricia Polacco. I'll show you the picture at the, well, I can show it to you this way, I think. Yeah, I sure can. On a sultry summer day at my grandma's farm in Michigan. The air gets damp and heavy. Storm clouds drift low over the fields. Birds fly close to the ground and the clouds glow for an instant with a sharp crackling light. And then a roaring low tumbling sound of thunder makes the window, sh window shudder in their panes. The sound used to scare me when I was little. I loved to go to grandma, grandma's house, Babushka, as I used to call my grandma, as she had come from Russia years before. But I feared Michigan summer storms, and I feared the sound of thunder more than anything. I always hid under the bed when the storm moved anywhere near the farmhouse. This is the story of how my grandma, my babushka, helped me to overcome my fear of thunderstorms. Grandma looked at the horizon and she drew in a deep breath. This is thunder cake baking weather, all right. <laughs> Looks like a storm's a coming. Child, you come out from underneath that bed. It's only thunder you're hearing, my grandma said. The air was just really hot and heavy and damp feeling. A loud clap of thunder shook the house and rattled the windows and gave me and made me grab her very close. Steady child, she cooed. Unless you let go of me, we're not going to be able to make thunder cake today. Th 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 thunder cake? I stammered as I hugged her even closer. Ah, don't pay attention to the old thunder except to see how close the storm's getting. When you see the lightning, start counting real slow. And when you hear the thunder, stop counting. And that's how many miles away the storm is. Do you understand? We need to know how far away the storm is so we have time to make the cake and get it into the oven before the storm comes or it won't be real thunder cake. Her eyes surveyed the black clouds way off in the distance. And then she strode into the kitchen. Her worn hands pulled a thick book from the shelf above the wood stove. Let's find that recipe, child, she crowed as she lovingly fingered the grease-stained pages to a creased spot. Ah, here it is, thunder cake. She carefully penned the ingredients on a piece of notepaper. Now, let's gather everything we'll need, she exclaimed as she hurried toward the back door. Hmm, I wonder what they're going to go get. Wait a minute, has anybody in your family ever had like something that they make during the middle of a storm, like baked goods. I don't think in my family we've ever done that, but I just didn't know if you just did. We were by the barn door when a huge bolt of lightning flashed and I started counting like grandma told me to. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000. 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Then the thunder roared! 10 miles? It's 10 miles away, Grandma says as she looked at the sky. That's about like an hour away. So we better hurry. Gather the eggs careful like eggs from the mean old Nellie peck hen. I was so scared. I knew she was going to try to peck me. I'm here. Don't worry. She's not going to hurt you. Just go get them eggs. Grandma said softly, and then the lightning flashed again. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, 
1,008, 1,009, I counted nine miles, Grandma reminded me. Milk was next. Milk from old kick cow. As Grandma milked her, kick cow turned and looked real mean right at me. <laughs> and I was so scared. She looked so big and zip went the lightning. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008. I counted. Boom! Went the thunder. Eight miles, child. Grandma croaked. Now we have to go get the chocolate and the sugar and the flour from the dry shed. I was so scared. Oh my goodness. We walked down the path from the farmhouse through tangleweed woods to the dry shed and suddenly the lightning slit the sky. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007. Boom! Butter, 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 boom! Crashed the thunder. It scared me a lot, but I kept walking with grandma. Another jagged edge of lightning flashed as I crept into the dry shed. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,006, I counted. Crackle, crackle, boom! Kappa, boom! The thunder bellowed and it was dark and I was so scared. I'm here, child, Grandma said softly from the door. Hurry now, we haven't got much time. We've got everything but the secret ingredient. Three overripe tomatoes and some strawberries, Grandma whispered as she squinted at the list. I climbed up high on the trellis. The ground looked a long ways down and I was pretty scared. I'm here, child, she said. Her voice was steady and soft. You won't fall. I reached three luscious white tomatoes while she picked some strawberries. Lightning again, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,004, I counted, 1,005, kabang, boom, the thunder growled. We hurried back to the house and the warm kitchen and we measured the ingredients. I poured them right into the mixing bowl while grandma mixed and I turned butter for the frosting and melted chocolate. And finally we poured the batter into the cake pans and put them into the oven together. Lightning lit the kitchen. I only counted to three and the thunder rumbled and crashed. Three miles away, grandma said, and the cake is in the oven and we made it and we're gonna have real thunder cake. As we waited for the cake, Grandma looked out that window for a very long time. Why aren't you afraid of thunder? You're too brave, she said. Oh, I said it wrong. Why, you're, you aren't afraid of the thunder. You're so brave, she said, looking right at me. I'm not brave, Grandma, I said. I was under the bed, remember? Yes, but you got out from underneath the bed. And you got eggs from mean old Nellie Peck Hen. You got milk from the old kit cow. You went through Tanglewood weeds to the dry shed. You climbed the trellis in the barnyard. And from where I sit, only a brave person could have done all those things. I thought as the storm, I thought and thought as the storm rumbled closer. And you know what? Your grandma's right. She says I was brave and I am brave. Well, brave people can't be afraid of a sound child, she said as we spread out the tablecloth and set the table. When we were done, we hurried into the kitchen to take the cake out of the oven. And after the cake had cooled, we frosted it. And just then, the lightning flash. And this time, 
it lit up the entire sky. You know those kinds of storms where you're out in the middle of the darkness and all of a sudden it literally like blows up the sky with all this brightness. Those are the best kinds of thunderstorms. Even before the last flash had faded, the thunder rolled and boomed and crashed and boomed just above us. And the storm was finally here. Well, that's just perfect, cooed Grandma. Just perfect. She beamed as she added the last strawberry to the glistening chocolate frosting on top of the thunder cake. As the rain poured down on our roof, Grandma cut a wedge of cake for each of us. She poured us steaming cups of tea from the samovar. When the thunder roared above us so hard it shook the windows and rattled the dishes in the cupboards, we just smiled and ate our thunder cake. From that time on, I never feared the voice of thunder ever again. Now, if you really want to know, there is a recipe for thunder cake. I'm not going to read you all the ingredients, but there really is a recipe for it. You might have to check it out sometime. Thunder cake. My grandma's thunder cake. This, my friends, is the end of thunder cake. One of my favorite author's books. Now, a little bit of a background story is that Patricia Polacco um, writes these books and illustrates them and they're all based on well for the most part they're all based on stories from her own life and from her grandma so when she talks about babushka or grandma it's usually talking about her and you're always going to find her as somewhat the main character in the story but she's always present in all the stories that she writes it's pretty cool so next up is possibly another story who knows